Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Pedro Philosophs SimCity Let's Plays. Now I will continue as you have requested in my tourism city but there is one thing that I will have to do in the other cities. My tourism city has no industry and therefore its commercials have almost no freight to be had. But that freight can be imported from the other cities if those cities have an excess of freight. But those cities currently don't have an excess of freight while this city has a lot of medium wealth shops. Those shops can then have the shoppers coming in from the other cities and satisfy them but from the other cities this city and its shops will also need freight. So what I'm going to do is go around my previous cities and bulldoze and dezone the medium wealth shops. That way I will hopefully create enough freight to be transferred to the tourism city which already has the shops to take that freight and then those shops can supply the shoppers from these other cities, their medium wealth shoppers that will come here and take those that freight in the form of goods. So first of all I will run this city a few more days to see how far can I get with the number of tourists. I will speed up the process for you so I will just jump back in when I have a couple of hundred thousand or at least a couple of dozen thousand of tourists in this city. So the last time we left off this city had 20,000 and then a day later it had only 70,000 tourists. So I will spend some time running this city and see how far the number will go. And then I will come back and then we will go around the region and see how much medium wealth shops do we need to destroy for there to be an excess of freight from these other cities to bring into this one. Okay guys, so here's an update. I have changed quite a few things. You remember that I had medium wealth, medium density hotels here? Well, because I have now three medium wealth, high density hotels, these hotels were not having any tourists. So I changed them for residential to get some more workers. And I needed to get those workers because now I have a high wealth, high density shop and I have three high density low wealth hotels. With this many hotels my number of tourists is steadily climbing. I had a small issue in the transportation department at the passenger train station where my number of passengers coming by train went down from 20,000 to just 2,000. I remember reading on the forums that people said if you have more than one passenger train station it tends to get bugged after a while so that's probably what happened to me so that is why I bulldozed the second one and just left myself with one passenger train station. The boats on the other hand have exploded and they are now bringing in 9000 riders per day but I have a long average wait time. Now I could try bulldoze these three and see if I can plop maybe five at the same time. The Mansipola airport is always around 600 so that's fine I don't even have to upgrade it. The buses are now bringing in 11,000 medium wealth tourists and 5,000 low wealth tourists which is pretty much the peak for them and they always have low wait times. As for the profits from the stadium I spent around 150 to get 200,000 while I spent 45,000 on the expo center in order to get 169,000. It varies from day to day correlated to the variance of the number of tourists but for now I seem to be kept at only above 20,000. I'm not sure why in my test region in the sandbox mode I was able to push it to 60,000 so I'm hoping that that will happen here. There is a lot of variables involved so I will keep playing and see what happens. Alright, I forgot I almost have no fires, I have very few people injured and sick, I have very few criminals and even the ones that I have are jailed. And I have absolute education, I even have 5 caps, I don't even remember when was the last time I had 5 caps. So all the services are running perfectly in this city, so the tourists have nothing to worry about. I'm just hoping that somehow I'm going to be able to get into the high tens of thousands of tourists per day. Okay, so I went ahead and did it, I changed the ferry terminals to 4 ferry terminals and only the cruise ship docks I have disabled and destroyed all the passenger 
paradox. So let's see how does that change the number of tourists coming in by boat. Remember I was capped at 9000. I have also made one more change. I am now running the world championship in soccer at the Pro Stadium instead of the Monster Rally. So we are moving up in the world. I am now at 28,000 that I had yesterday, I had 23,000 medium wealth, 5,000 low wealth and 389 high wealth tourists. So I will keep running the World Championship in Soccer at the Pro Stadium and the Rock Concert at the Expo Center. Yesterday I invested 225,000 and 45,000 and got 288 and 192,000. So quite a nice profit. Hopefully tomorrow with the addition of this fourth cruise ship dock I will have even more tourists coming in by the boats. The train station, the single passenger train station is now up to 22,000 riders per day. So the one is now having more traffic than when I had two at the same time. The buses seem to be always around 20. 125,000 so that doesn't really change with the two bus terminals. As for the airport, well now you see the wait time of 20,000 minutes while well, before I used to have 15. So it's totally unstable and has its own quirks and ways how it works so you can't really predict whether it's going to work properly or not. But the one good thing is that no matter how many sims actually can come and go from the airport it can take a gazillion of taxis which is great because those taxis won't clog up your network connections now we are at 47 48,000 minutes average wait and 50 yeah that seems like it's getting bugged the buses are going down every time I look at them it used to be 15 minutes now it's 9 minutes The boat say 4,000 riders and 4,000 exactly of medium wealth. The high tourists don't even seem to go into the account. Let's see where we are at. 13,000 and it's only 10 a.m. So hopefully we'll see even more. You can see that the hotels get a lot of tourists. The medium wealth high density are pretty much capped except this one but that one will get filled up as well. Even the high density high vault is getting a lot of visitors. And the three low wealth high density ones are kind of low at the moment, but once these things get out from the expo center and the stadium, they're going to fill them up completely. It's 1 pm and we are at 21,000, so we might even break the record of 28,000. For some reason I seem to have a problem with crime now. All of a sudden. It was probably a problem where the police cars weren't able to get to the places where crime was happening on time. That's probably down to the traffic and a million taxis. And that seemed to have started influencing my buildings and they now from time to time say cannot they hear too much crime. 26,000. Yes, we are very close to breaking the, the record that we had yesterday. 10,000 low wealth, 16,000 medium wealth, and only 82 high wealth. But yesterday I had 423 compared to 16 of medium wealth. Very strange indeed. And the type of transportation that they are using, buses 23,000, trains 22,000, boats are at 8,000, excellent. Planes 600 with 91,000 minutes average time. I don't think that uh, that thing even gets calculated properly because you can obviously see the planes touching down and taking sims away so that's just broken. It works as it should be, just this display here seems to be broken. Pro Stadium is quite filled up, 13,000 out of 15,000, that's pretty cool. 28,900, yeah, we broke the record only by 200 tourists, but still, 
a record break it is. Keep running DVNs. How much money did I make? 396,234,000. Those are excellent profits. This town is turning into the most profitable town I have. Let's see, are the tourists in the hotels? Yep, you can see that the hotels are getting filled up pretty nicely. Six hundred and it will probably cap out at seven hundred and ten. Yep, and then they'll start filling this one. Now because this is taking far too much of this video, I need to go to these other cities and see about deleting that medium wealth shops that I talked about. And here's Radio Sunshine. Let's find the medium wealth commercials. Or should I say shops? Here is one. Goodbye. Here's another. Goodbye. Here's another. Oops. That was road. Goodbye to you too. Any more? Nope. That would be it. Okay, let's change that for some residential. There we go, that pretty much finishes up in this city. Although I could get some more power water from this city, perhaps. This thing can't be upgraded, I would have to build a new one, but this city, as we all remember, has huge problems with ground pollution. And there is a lot of water here, but I would need to destroy some homes in order to get to that water. Oh, let's see about this. Like this. All those. And zone. That's very nice. Now about that power supply, I think this is a nice place to plop a wind power plant. Ugh, yeah, not so nice after all. Oh well, they'll live for long enough to create some power at least. Now this city should create a lot more power and water and my whole region should have more available. So even though it's divided between the cities, each city will get a little bit more now. Have the homes been made? Yep. Here, here and here. Has this thing started working? Yes it has. Has this thing started working? Yes it has. More water, more power. Okay, so Radio Sunshine says goodbye. Let's go to Liquidia. Let's see what's shaking up in Liquidia and let's say goodbye to some medium wealth, medium density shops in Liquidia. Alright, I dezoned everything here. It's gonna be a little bit harder to find the shops. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that pretty much takes care of that. If I missed any, I'm sure you guys are going to tell me in the comment section. 
Could I add some homes here? Why not? Let's see what happens. Okay, medium health, medium density, that's good. Well, that pretty much took care of the city. I'll just wait for these guys to get built. Space Center Research. I uh, maybe I'll spend some time later on waiting for it. Oh, Ab Abigail! That's awesome! I could really use the detective. And I think I need a school of law for that. So that's the one I will build because I will need it to build the detective in my gambling city where I'm going to have a lot of criminals most likely. Alright. Oh well, some homes are just gonna have to get destroyed. Too bad. Maybe he can build. Yeah, he can. Awesome. Two? Nah, not enough space. In any event, I'll spend some time here getting the research done to research the police upgrade, the detective upgrade, or whatever it was called. What's with this thing? Why isn't there a building here? And here as well. Why isn't there a high vault home here? Yeah, see? See how easy that is? This game just likes to troll me, I swear to you. Whoa, what? Running out of water? Oh, why aren't you buying that water? <laughs> that city was built later on and I never bought water from it. But this pretty much fixes that problem. Seems I need more power as well. Right, because this city does not produce anything. It's the university city. Okay, let's buy some power as well. Switch? No, switch is fine. Okay, well, that pretty much finishes up in this city. Let's go to the next one. My next one is Phoenix Plains. Phoenix Plains, my mining and alloy production city. What's going on here? Plenty of power. Huh, 85 out of 60 and 85 out of 50. Does that mean that there is a lack of water here. Yep, it does mean that. And there's no place to buy that water from. Which means that I will have to build some sort of extra. What? How is it? I'm. I... What the? Didn't I just say the game is trolling me? I think this pretty much proves it. What the hell? How is it 58 out of 100 and 56 out of 56 now? Oh, brother. This game was made to go on my nerves. That's a given. Anyhow, where are those medium wealth, medium nasty homes? Oh, uh, shops, I mean. You're not a shop. Why are you zoned as commercial? Jesus Christ. One, two. I'll leave the small ones. I'll just destroy the meat. What the? Why is the. I'm not even gonna. Okay, well, that looked pretty much it. Nothing else necessary to change in here. Next! Silk Road, our first city that we ever built in this region. Let's see what's shaking up in here. Power has plenty of water, has plenty of. Oh, yeah, this one produces everything. Power of water, sewage. Yep, produces pretty much everything. 
these power plants are brilliant. And maybe what I could do is change this bigger ones for the advanced versions and they will produce even more power. Yep, that's quite a good idea actually. There we go. Over here I could probably switch four of these for two of these. Or could I? Hmm. Nope. Just two of them can be switched. Oh, okay. That's fine. As for up here, I kind of doubt that I would be able to build the big ones because I have put these roads, service roads, so close to each other. But this is all fine. Although the current wind speed is very low. Just 13, 15, 14. What? How, how can... How can different wind power plants have different wind speeds? I'm not even gonna try to understand this. Where are those medium weld shops? Here's one. Is this it? Just one? Alright, I have very little medium weld land value here. That's true. That at least true. Oh, but here's another one, I think. Yep. Well, that was quick. We're pretty much done with this city as well. Hmm, I did leave this space here particularly because I thought I might need more water. So, large park, sorry yellow world sims, you'll have to find yourself another park. Utilities, water, other pumping station. Ugh, where exactly am I going to fit any of this? Well, that's fine. Just a little bit more water. I mean, I could always take down some of these neighborhoods, but I think that's fine. I have upgraded the other city with a lot of capacity. This is just some extra. Other the wind speeds at 14, 15, <laughs> 13. Oh, brother. Never mind. Screw that. Let's go back. To what? Uh, let's go back to this empty plot that seems to have 5 million in the bank and 34,000 people who live um, underground, maybe? <laughs> this game just keeps getting more and more hilarious. Oh, look! There's a city here! It's not empty! Weird how the guys that live in Silk Road seem to think that there is nothing here but 34,000 people that live underground or something. This game, oh man, it's trolling the crap out of me. And I could seriously poop on this game if I only had a DVD copy of it, a hard copy. I would crap so hard on that hard copy. <laughs> anyway. Let's see how much more water power can I now buy. 127, 58, 184. Well, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's for the last time see just how many tourists am I going to have. I mean, I'm not even going to try and get into the 60,000. Because this seems to be broken. Broken. Maybe if I were to build another one exactly like this, I would get 150,000. But who knows? And I'm not even going to bother anymore. I'm going to go and create my last city, the gambling city. Because this is getting painful to play. What day is it today? Seven, 16th? Yeah, today is the 16th of February, which means that in just around 48 hours we are going to be playing BANISHED! And we are going to BANISH SimCity out of our minds! Might even delete all these videos from my channel. Haha, <laughs> what do you think about that, Maxis? Fucking Neanderthals. Who gave you 
permission to ruin a perfectly good game. Ugh! Damn it! Too much anger. Too much anger. Now the question is, are we going to be importing more freight orders? Well, from like, what did I have? 60? 80? Now we are up to 300. Yay! I managed to get 250 freight. I was 300 freight plus because I destroyed a whole bunch of medieval shops in my other cities. Yay for me, I've achieved so much. That was obviously a waste of time. Or maybe not, it's going up. Let's see how far it's gonna get. Well, at least I made sure to have a lot of medieval shoppers commuting in. Look at this. I now have 2,700 plus shoppers of medium wealth commuting into this city because I destroyed all their shops in the other cities. And I used to have a lot of unsold goods at medium wealth, but <laughs> now I have unsatisfied, but they still keep coming. I mean, it doesn't say unsatisfied here because unsatisfied is just the sims that are in this city, the shoppers from this city. But you can see here, obviously, that if I have 1,165 medium health goods and two and a half thousand shoppers, it's not gonna bode well for them. And the freight is now amazingly up to 700 freight commuting in from the region, so that definitely achieved something. Oh, there it goes again. Seems to going, keep going up. Where are we at with the number of tourists? We are. Ah, damn it, 25,000. Had 29 last time. I'm definitely calling quits on this. Just don't have the patience anymore. I mean, what the hell? It's profitable, it's working, it's even getting some freight from the region. Oh, I think I know why so little freight is coming here. Because I have already claimed the plot that I'm going to use for the city and it's probably already dividing and just waiting to go there so when I start building and start plopping the shops I will probably see about the same amount of freight that's coming into this city going into that one or maybe it will just start dividing once there are actual shops there I can't really say if it's any certainty in any event let's wait for the 12 o'clock gong Yep, 25,000 tourists. How did I bring them? 22,000 were using the buses, 20,000 in the train, 10,000 in the boats. And of course this thing reset so you can't even tell how many came. Came by airport, I mean. Not came, came. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've started to talk rubbish so this is probably the moment to go away. Thank you all for watching. Oh, and see you next time.